Hello everyone and welcome to today's video on Azure IAM servers by IntelliPad. But before we begin, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell icon. Microsoft's Azure Identity and Access Management Servers, which comes with the Active Directory, is one of the pioneer applications when it comes to management services. So without further ado, let's get to today's agenda. But before we begin the session, make sure to subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon so that you'll never miss any update from us. What is RBAC? The benefits of RBAC, Azure IAM and Azure Active Directory, functionalities and features, major customers of IAM, pricing and licensing, finally, the future of Microsoft IAM and Active Directory. Now let's go to our first topic, what is RBAC? Before we get into the specifics of what Azure Identity and Access Management is, let us see what actually is a role-based access control, which is RBAC. RBAC is a way of controlling network access based on individual users' position within an organization. RBAC guarantees that the workers only have access to the information they need to complete their jobs and keeps them from seeing or accessing material that isn't relevant to them. The rights provided to an employee are determined by their job in the business, ensuring that the lower-level employees do not have access to sensitive information or conduct high-level duties. Roles are determined by numerous criteria in the role-based access control data model, including authorization, responsibility, and job expertise. As a result, businesses can classify users as end-users, administrators, or specialists. Furthermore, computer resources can be restricted to certain tasks such as creating, viewing, or editing files. Now let's go to our next topic, benefits of RBAC. The various benefits of RBAC includes cost reduction. Companies can save money by restricting users to particular processes and programs. This allows them to use network bandwidth memory and storage more efficiently. Work efficiency increment. When firms recruit new employees or rearrange their responsibilities of existing employees, RBAC reduces the need for documentation and password changes. RBAC enables enterprises to swiftly create, modify, and deploy roles across platforms, operating systems, and applications. It also reduces the risk of human mistake while allocating user rights. Furthermore, by assigning established responsibilities to third-party users, firms may more quickly incorporate them into their networks. Compliance Enhancement Every business must abide by local, state, and federal restrictions. Because some executives and IT departments can more effectively regulate how data is accessed and utilized, companies choose to deploy RBAC systems to fulfill regulatory and legislative requirements for confidentiality and privacy. This is especially critical for financial institutions and healthcare organizations that handle sensitive information. Finally, enhanced administrative visibility. RBAC provides network administrators and managers with more visibility and control over the organization, while also ensuring that the authorized users and guests on the system are only allowed to access information they need to execute their tasks. Now, let's get to our next topic, Azure IAM and Azure Active. Active Directory. In Azure subscriptions, Identity Access Management is referred to as the role-based access control system. As we saw earlier, it basically lets you provide certain responsibilities to users for subscriptions, resource groups, and individual resources. Whereas, Azure Active Directory is a more comprehensive identity management solution. It lets you manage people and programs as well as their access to those applications. It's a database or live directory that keeps track of users accounts and passwords. Hence, both these are together responsible for making Microsoft achieve great feats in the access management field and get them reviews from top-tier companies like Gartner who named them a leader in 2021 Magic Quadrant for access management. The various functionalities that Microsoft Azure Active Directory provides makes it instantly one of the most widely used and trusted platforms in its domain. And according to their own reports, Microsoft claims that there are about 200,000 customers all around the world who makes use of Microsoft Azure AD. There are about 425 million monthly active users supported by Azure AD. And that there are about 30 billion authentications that are processed on a daily basis. Now, let's take a look at some of the key functionalities and features that Microsoft Azure AD provides.
provide that makes their platform so trusted among users. This brings to our next topic, functionalities and features. Some of the features that Microsoft Azure AD provides efficiently which makes them stand out are single sign-on, multi-factor authentication, and conditional access. Let's look at the first one, the single sign-on. With single sign-on, your terms may access all of their apps with only one set of login credentials. No more repeating passwords or no more memorizing numerous credentials. This feature provides a set of abilities. Let's take a look at them. Streamlined sign-in experiences. This reduces or eliminates sign-in prompts to improve the sign-in experience. Increased employee productivity. With a one-click centralized app launching experience, you can simplify access and app discovery. Enhanced security. Reduces the reuse of usernames and passwords across apps to help minimize the risk of breaches. Increased IT efficiency. User account management may be centralized and users can be added or removed from apps automatically depending on group membership or responsibilities. Now, let us take a look at some of the mainstream companies who benefit primarily from single sign-on feature and have some difference made in their functioning. ASOS Fashion, Mattress Firm, Whole Foods Market. The second feature is a multi-factor authentication. The multi-factor authentication or MFA adds an extra layer of security to their sign-in processes. Users give extra identification when accessing accounts or apps such as scanning a fingerprint or inputting a code obtained via phone. Now, Azure AD provides a variety of multi-factor authentication methods including SMS, phone calls, biometrics and one-time passcodes to fit your organization's specific specific demands and keep your users safe. And finally, the conditional access. Contextual elements like user, device, location, and real-time risk information enable enterprises to set and fine-tune access policies to restrict what a single user may access, as well as how and when they have access. Let's briefly see how the conditional access feature works within your organization on different applications. On other apps, on other apps, they enforce control to specific apps or actions, hybrid on-premise apps. On these apps, they secure remote access to an on-premises web app. Finally, Office app. In Office apps, restrict access to approved, modern authentication-capable client apps. Now let's see our next topic, major customers of IAM. Let's now take a look at some of the major companies that makes use of Microsoft's Azure Identity and Access Management Services. They are Vipro Limited, Centrica, Genetech, IDC, and Kripinger Co. Which brings us to our next topic, which is pricing and licensing. The various pricing options available for Microsoft's IAM platforms are as follows. Azure Premium P1, which is about 459.181 rupees per user per month. You can use Azure AD conditional access to prompt users for multi-factor authentication during certain scenarios or even fit to your business requirements using this Azure Premium P1. Second one is Azure Premium P2, which comes around for 688.771 rupees per user per month. This provides the strongest security position and improved user experiences. Adds risk-based conditional access to the Azure AD Premium P1 features that adapts to users' patterns and minimizes multi-factor authentication prompts. And finally, the Office 365 or the Azure AD Free, which comes around for zero rupees per user per month. Using this offer, you may utilize the security defaults to request users for multi-factor authentication when needed, but you don't have detailed control over which user or situations are enabled. However, it does offer another layer of protection. Users with Azure AD Global Administrator role can be enabled to use multi-factor authentication even if the security defaults aren't used to enable it for everyone. The free tiers multi-factor authentication functionality ensures that the key administrator accounts are secured. Which brings us to our final topic of the day, future of Microsoft Azure Directory. Microsoft is paying attention to its most important clients and patterning their products after them. They'll strive to influence your network's decision to benefit them to the greatest. On premises, Microsoft's supremacy in the desktop industry has been largely due to Active Directory or AD. AD made managing and controlling Windows devices and user 
us a breeze. If IT administrators utilized Windows, they also acquired more power. Windows apps were also easier to log in into than others because of the domain controller idea. It is apparent that the Active Directory had played a key role in the management of the Windows and Office brand. Hence, looking at all of these facts, the future of Microsoft Azure Directory and the Identity Access Management in general looks pretty good. That's all for this video. Thank you everyone and please make sure you're subscribing to our YouTube channel and hitting that bell icon for regular updates. Just a quick info guys, if you want to make a career in cloud computing, then IntelliPad provides an advanced certification on cloud and DevOps by IIT Madras. This course is taught by industry experts and IIT Madras faculty. This course is designed to upskill and land your dream job.